Hey guys, um, obviously since I'm making this, I'm still sick, so this is the longest duration of time over the last eight months, six, eight months that uh, I haven't went to the gym. I know I haven't been to the gym, this would be two days in a row that I haven't been to the gym, but I don't know. It's wild. It just makes me feel like I'm missing out on something or I'm going to lose all my gains. It's just crazy how your head kind of plays with you like that. And the amount of weight I've lost in such a short span of time is crazy. I was weighing like 172 three days ago and I weighed myself this morning. I was 163. Yeah, I know a lot of that is water weight and everything, but it's just crazy how much your weight can fluctuate when you get sick because you're not eating as much and not drinking as much water, which I'm trying to drink as much water as I can, but damn near half the time I'm sleeping. Um, so yeah, I've just been really relaxing today, you know, eating soup, you know, things that are probably relatively easy for me to digest and just kind of hanging out, staying hydrated. Um, I just recently hopped onto my iPad and I have not opened my iPad and charged it and I'm talking 10 months probably and I pay for this thing every month and it just sits there. It's a real nice iPad. But uh, it's just real interesting to go through like all the the pictures like a year ago as far as like what I was doing and who I was with and you know just the activities that I was participating in and just like I don't know the lifestyle change it's pretty interesting and to look at pictures of myself from let me see here it's crazy I found this picture of myself it was right when I first started training with no victim and Gabe is my coach so it's right when I started training with him after I got back from my vacation with my dad. I don't know. I was pretty big, uh, to say the least. I mean, I was a, I was for sure a chunker, bro. I was like one seventy eight, but like. A chunky 178 because if I was to get up to 178 right now, you know, I'd look pretty lean still. Um, but yeah, it's just crazy how much my body's changed over the course of time. Like, it's nuts. Let me see if I can show you. Like, y'all see that? See that? Like, that's crazy, yo. Look at me. That is nuts. That's crazy, but uh, I ain't never going back to that, ever, 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 never catch me dead looking like that again, that is, that is nuts, took some time to get there though, you know, a lot of people underestimate, you know, or not, I wouldn't say that, but they... I feel like my generation lacks patience and like everybody wants that instant gratification and that was me too. I, and I'm still kind of that way, you know, especially when it comes to money and things like that. Like, obviously I want to do the least amount of work to get the most amount of money. Um, but as far as like in the aspect of the gym, like you just, you have to go. And you have to put in the work. And like, it, you just got to keep doing it. And like, <laughs> you just can't cheat the grind, quite honestly. Because you won't get the results. And that goes for your diet. And that goes for getting in the gym. I mean, it's just crazy how much time has passed in order for me to get the body that I have now. But it's also crazy because I'm nowhere near where I want to be. 
So it's just, it's an ongoing, like, chase, which I enjoy because I don't think I'll ever be satisfied with the way my body looks. I think I'll always be striving to push past what, you know, I have now. I mean, I personally want to be undeniably big to the point to where you look at me and you, you're like, that guy has spent some hours in the gym. And some people say that to me now, but I want it to be to the point to where, like, not your average day gym goer, like your, your big, big dude at the gym's like, hey, dude, what have you been doing? Like, you look big. Like, I want that. Like, I appreciate, like, you know, every person, you know, at work or friends and family and stuff like that saying I look big. But when you go into the gym and you have a big ass dude tell you, hey, man, you're looking big, you're looking cut, like that, that hits a little bit different just because obviously those dudes are in there all the time and doing the exact same thing you're doing. So, you know, that approval or that recognition for what you're doing is, is pretty nice. But sorry, I got on a little tangent here. I'm just chilling. I've been chilling by myself all day. Uh, listening to music, like I said, fucking eating food, hanging out. So, I won't, won't be going into work tomorrow. I'm not trying to get the guys at work sick. Because I know I'm still sick, obviously. But, uh, yeah. I will see you guys tomorrow, and I'll upload a video tomorrow, too. It'll probably be sick day number three, and then hopefully I can get in the gym on Tuesday, um, and we'll just start our split all over. But, uh, yeah, appreciate you guys watching, and uh, I will see you tomorrow. And also, haha, forgot to say, we got mics. So I got uh, a set of mics which is pretty cool, rechargeable case. I got two mics, so if anybody is in the gym with me and ever wants to get mic'd up and you know have some clear audio, that's pretty cool. So I got that. Um, but yeah, that's about it. I appreciate you guys watching, and uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Doses.